Hi, YouTube. There might be a little bit of interruption or noise, but it shouldn't be a big deal. I thought I'd show you my Japanese white lilacs. Um, it's a Japanese lilac tree. So even in order for me to get some off the branches, I had to like reach up and grab a branch and pull it down ever since it was pretty big. <laughs> so otherwise, they, they are really strong smelling compared to the French lilacs, like my purple ones or lavender color ones. They're um, a sweeter smelling. These are like super pungent. Um, I'm going to have them in here for a little bit probably move them out into uh, maybe before I go to sleep at night, you know, get them away from me anyway. <laughs> so, um, yeah, they smell good for a little bit, but, um, you know, too not too much. You wouldn't want, like, I've had times where I brought in, like, different vases and had them around in the house thinking I'm going to scent up the whole house. It's just even a little bit too much for that. I like, um, like in the spring, we have a flowering crab. Oh, well, it's called a royal flowering crab apple. And it's got red leaves and then little pink flowers. And those pink flowers, the apples themselves only get really tiny. I suppose they would be edible, um, but not not we have other crab apples so if we want to make like um jam or whatever we've made out of um well not jam but jelly i made out of it and um but anyway so yeah there um but so in the spring i was telling you about this um uh royal crab it smells so good it's just it's super sweet smelling the whole yard smells like that for about two weeks. And the same with this lilac. Unless it really gets pounded on by a storm or something. Should be pretty good smelling for about two weeks even up to a month. I've had it smell like lilacs out, out back. So, yeah. I, uh, we got a turkey for... A dollar ninety nine a pound. So yesterday and on Thanksgiving, I didn't make like the traditional American United States meal. You know, turkey stuffing, potatoes, gravy, cranberries. Um, I did all that yesterday. So we have leftovers for. A while it's not a huge huge turkey but it's it's big enough you know so yeah it was great I slept pretty good <laughs> I had a pretty big plate but that's all I eat all day is one meal and I usually eat the same amount all the time and that's just what I do <laughs> you know I don't um I don't run well if I have like a breakfast, a lunch, even if it's like smaller amounts or a little something here and there, I just don't, my strength, I don't digest it like that. I'm, I may, it may be because of injuries that I've had. It could very well be, but I gather my strength better by um, like, especially protein. When you eat protein at night, it goes into your muscles when you relax. So that's, um, and I believe that's true because uh, I've been doing it for a long time. Unless I've been really injured and then I would eat more because I need the energy. You need energy when you're injured. You probably will burn off a lot more calories or it might have an adverse effect. You might gain weight. Um, not just because you might not be able to move like you usually do, 
but just the disruption to your your system, you know, which I'm going to talk about um, systems here according to the masonically or magic minded human beings here. I'm going to I'm going to have a little spouter spatter. Not a rant, but it should be. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. There's certain principles in this world as far as um mathematics, geometry, um energy. Uh I'm not talking about electricity, I'm talking about energy um, components that hold like particles together, particle physics. And the different tools and implementations that people like call themselves magi, wizards, witches, um, cabalists, you know, those type, um, Satanists taking a, a system, taking knowledge of a system and implementing it by what we would call like hocus pocus or that type of thing, taking something that is natural from God and turning it into something like, okay, say if it was like uh, the key of Solomon or the lesser keys of Solomon, how that those components of the cabal and we all know like about our chakras and different things to to like either dole it out to people or or make it look like so you will perceive that there's some kind of magic some kind of magic there in something that's natural for human beings every day that god set in place for us and the dark force overtook to dole it out to us like it's something magical when it's it's physical it's physics and then you bring in the spiritual you have another element with that combination it's still not supernatural and i'm so sick of these people portraying um actual science even the ether being an actual science as something mystical or magical it's all from god if you if you turn something into um, magic that's here for everybody um if that's your way of thinking now of what god got in place for us you're never going to get the whole thing within yourself because you're thinking on terms of how mankind perceives it. it the minute you say magic, mystic, um, secret, mystery, all these ignoramus, it's it, all these ironious <laughs> outlooks outlooks for the way humans uh, function in this world every day I mean first off you could sit down and teach your child in a paragraph how to function within this system with forethought for themselves recognizing that is a gift from our father that would be the first thing you'd have to do but these people that are not doing that there's a reason why they're not doing that they don't have that connection they don't have those abilities they think they gotta beg the dark force or tap into that type of thing 
in order to wield some kind of power that other people don't have, which is totally. I do get a little bit angry because these people aren't just uh, coming right out. Some, okay, not these people. Uh, let me rephrase that. <coughs> um, there's people that are trying to teach other people, but for the depth of what they're going, they're making something far more complicated. That's what I'm trying to get at. That's why I say you can teach a child something. Um, now, even if I taught my children certain things, they have not used it in the way that it was intended. Um, and I know, I knew they were going to be attacked anyway. I, I probably, and I look, well, should I have had kids? Well, I wouldn't have had my grandchildren. There, there's a reason why everything happens in life. And I did, like my first son, I, I after being with their father for five years, we prayed for that child, you know, uh, while well, I was praying anyway. But we had talked about it, and I wasn't even supposed to have children. So two sons and four granddaughters later, um, that's the result of what I call a prayer, you know. But a lot of people would not see that as a prayer received or fulfilled from the force that put us all here on this planet. That's why I don't understand atheists, you know. I don't care if you call our Father God or Father or not, but somebody actually put us here and to not have that connection or recognition. I even was listening to somebody that was quite a few people like raised even as like a Christian and man when it's that holy roller laying on of hands and talking in tongues and that psych babble um you know the rest of that phrase uh, that's just way too much you know like I see even the frequency of the music and all that it's like just get away from me with all of that all of that I'd rather listen to Stairway to Heaven backwards than I would that shit, which is said to be satanic. Well, I've heard it. So, yeah, when you slow it down and play it backwards. But, um, anyway. So, is that magic or is that actually something that um, people are aware of and they can implement it in their lives because they're aware of it? But when people are out here, oh, hocus pocus this or that, or like we're so special because we know this and this is how we're going to dole it out to you. You know, that's what makes me angry. That's why I end up. Um, swearing and ranting at most people that are pulling this bullshit on others because I just can't stand it. Like I said, this stuff is not new to me at all. I'm, I'm decades and decades and decades and over and over past that. Um, uh, understanding of what other people see as magic that I just saw as a part of my life wasn't magical at all. It was um, gifts from God, like the air and water and the ether and our communication in that, all that, that is real. So, I was also listening to uh, Truth Tiger was talking about why he left Judaism, really similar to why I won't step back into a church, highly doubt it, um, maybe for fellowship if I was, ah, I doubt it, I doubt it, 
nah, I wouldn't be able to keep my mouth shut under that circumstance. I'm sure of it. I didn't last time, so I don't know why anything would change. So, no, nah, forget about that. I can understand what it's like to um, learn things about the cult you're a part of and not agree with that and walk away from that. And that is also part of the dark cabal plan to turn many away from God and to turn their hearts cold and not to believe in his word, even within scriptures that have been twisted. If you knew the shit that was twisted in there, you'd just say, no, no, you go to the book of Revelation and it sounds fantastic. That's the most real book in the whole thing. Um, I'm telling you. You know, and I'm not into hellfire and damnation with people. We got enough hellfire and damnation right here. And if you need a little extra hellfire, I can help you out with that. We got enough of that bullshit going on in the world, period. You know, but any religion that would call for or approve of anybody else's death or enslavement or sacrifices, all that bullshit. Are you fucking retarded? Do you have thinking problems? If you're into that type of thing, that's why you better think about. There is no religion when it comes to God and the Spirit of God for all people. The You know, this is a huge separation thing on this planet. One, I'm not supposed to like somebody who thinks that they're, they're um, like more intelligent or, or better bred or better school, like your, your education is so superior. And your inbreeding is fucking exquisite. You know, those type of people. Anyway. I told you, <laughs> it might have been kind of like, hey, I don't like this shit at all. At all. You don't have to practice something that comes natural, and that's what's most infuriating to me. That's the biggest thing right there. I just fucking hate the, even the terminology used for all that. I could take your witch's hats and just shove them right up some area that is very huge. Would that be your brain? Or an orifice? <sighs> anyway. So really a shout out to the people that are taking time for other people in the world and not giving a shit what anybody thinks because they've got a mind and a heart of their own. That's what makes an excellent leader. Um, the ones that are actually are... Uh, secluded for the most part in the world because you are way different. You just are. You always have been that type of person. You're who I'm talking to. Yeah, you know what's right and wrong and everybody else pretends they don't, you know. Oh, we have to go to church so we're saved. We have to um, bow 3,000 times a year, you know, in order for my God to love me, I have to put my hands just so. Well, now in that extreme like like that, I and it is, put your fingertips together and feel that energy. You know, when you bring, um, when you... Come in con when you try to squish the ether, think of it like that. You'll feel something when you do that. 
And when somebody's messing with me and they're in front of me, I put my hand out like that at them as they're coming towards me. And it stops them, not just because of the hand signal, because of the energy in the ether. And if once you have a, the gist of that, if you have a little bit of a level on something that you never considered before. You know, like telekinesis, perhaps. You know. If you know what telekinetics is, to the ability to move something with your mind, do people have that ability? Can you stop an accident? Could you stop um, even like uh, something falling? Does, you, does your action in the ether or your preconceived of something that's going to happen and you're able to stop it, but does your, does your reaction in the ether that may be quicker, was that pre-thought of, was that an ability, a gift, or is that actually like exclusively you? Do you recognize your abilities? Do you know where they, where that strength comes from? Um, I'm just asking, maybe you don't, maybe you haven't even thought of that. Like, um, that's not being psychic, but, um, which is also another gift. It's not something you do or, or practice. It's like, uh, telepathy and, um, I wouldn't recommend like other people, um, just just keep this in mind. If you think you want to practice something like an auto out of body spirit experience, um, if God wanted to take you out of your body, He wouldn't have put you in it. It's not a punishment. You don't even have to try to exert your energy anywhere in the world. You don't have to try. You can just think about things. And things happen. They really do. The ether is absolutely real. The ether can be used. It's called the Akashic Records. There's what was, what is, and what will be. It's all there. Every day, every second of our day. In between me and this light is ether. Um, the in-between spaces where our thoughts go from before and now and in the future. It's connected. It's linear. God, of course, has those abilities of all three at the same time. I believe some people do, too, you know. So I really get infuriated when people um, dole it out and act like it's magic and um, aren't teaching people the right way with true love in their heart. For if you know something somebody else doesn't, why would you want to dole it out to them or make money off that? Why? Don't you think that people would be grateful by by just, it's called their own rights? And that you would be rewarded in that way? Because you can't, um, these things just are not secret and magic and mystical and mysteries and fucking secrets. Dang it. <laughs> Just hate it. Do you know how stupid you look to me? Like that? Want a wizard hat to go with your bullshit? Or a dunce hat? 
Is that really what a wizard hat is? They sure look the same to me. Well, that's because they are the same. That should say it all right there. Is there a hidden meaning in that? I think I was pretty clear. <laughs> you know, how come I can make things happen in my life and I don't have to practice anything? What's that all about? I mean, I'm serious. I'm serious. I mean, for myself, not from another person, sometimes through another person, but not from them. You know, something I project, like other people try to project their thoughts onto others. And that's where they fail, too, because they are certainly not going to be rewarded. <laughs> you know, that's that's uh, a dark influence. All I can do is, like, lead a person to the truth. Like I've told people before, using the King James, the Strong's Concordance, 1945 Masonic Blue Book, and a 1921 Webster Dictionary, because it has all the definitions in it, and the code. And you can learn to read the code in the front of the book. And I've showed... I've. I've got a video showing people. I'm not going to go through it anymore. I've been telling you. Now you can either hear my words and believe that I know what the system is doing and how it works. Or you can have people dole it out to you either way. Have a good day. For real. Why do we need to know what that code is? Don't you want to know what your enemy's doing? And how the scriptures have been twisted. And what the words actually mean. You know. Think of. Uh, even within the English language. Um, like to lie down. Or to. To be a liar. The same word. Two different meanings. That's a little odd, isn't it? Do you know how that, where that derived from? Well, you can look it up. The, and it would be the, um, plural would be to lay, L-A-Y, which is actually a group of flowers, but, um, to lie is to extrapolate on a non-truth. Um, and then understanding, too, within the code, do you use, like, the first, second, or third definition? Do you run off into another language? And it will indicate what language that came from and where it went and where you need to go to find that. And there's a whole story within there it's just like reading a story once you read the code. It's like learning math. Once you learn the code, you can just, like, you you realize your most common words like and and the and uh and I and all your vowels. And then use the keys to work out what those words are. Ugh. You'll You'll be amazed. You would. But I can't, I can only tell people what to do. I can't force you into it. You know, it's like, whatever. If you don't want to know and you want to listen to all this bullshit from everybody all around the world for fucking ever, go right ahead. I just told you the deepest knowledge combined from everybody in the world in these one documents that has a code for everything you would ever want to know about all what they call magic.
is satanic language using the English language and the Webster Dictionary. Yeah. That, I guess that's the magic of the whole thing is um, making people realize that it is not just one language or another language or this religion or that religion. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have anything to do with any of that. You know, I mean, who you serve or don't serve, uh, that's totally your business. God will talk to your heart. He's already talking whether you're in correlation with that or not. And everybody is on their own level, for real. But if you're into the dark arts, um, you're going to be squelched eventually. It's not a game. And there is no such, there's no distinction in between white magic and dark magic. It's all in bullshit. Get that straight. I don't care if you're in a synagogue, a church, um, your local lodge for the Masons, or um, whoever and whatever you think you are. That is not the right way to go. This is not the right way to teach people, and it's so repulsive to me. Whoever is doing these little doling outs of things, aside from the people, if they have a great enough library to their access, that they can show you the um, movements of a Masonic society from ancient times until now and what it was actually supposed to have been for the people that turned into some magic show for control. That's all it is about. It's about controlling us. When you can control yourself, your own will. What? Don't put that in somebody else's hands. Don't ever do that. You know? But I suggest making friends on your own level because I've ran into some really cold-hearted people that I ex extended my loving kindness to. And they wouldn't defend me to save their own souls. So it's like, you're just ignorant like that. No. Yeah. I wasn't going to say that, but I guess it just came out anyway because it is the truth. Did you ever have a friend? that didn't love you enough to say, hey, I don't like what you just did to my friend. Well, those are the only friends I'll be accepting in my life. Oh, just so you know. Well, now, if you're not doing things right, I'm certainly not going to defend you. In fact, I don't even want to get to know you, you know? Or if I do, I don't want to take it any further. Especially if somebody's aging. If you're aging out as a stupid person, you can pretty much know that you're probably going to be in a wheelchair drooling down the side of your face before you're my age. That's my outlook against people, you know, and you'll get everything you deserve, too. How about all these people that think they're God? There is no God because I'm God. That's what they're thinking. Or I made myself. Well, I'm going to tell you what, that dark, dark force has really got a hold of you. 
because that dark force that celebrates death um, here's something how can you be res resurrected if you never die just the thought there if you believe in eternity in mortality do you or don't you I mean I don't know I'm just asking it just was a couple questions there for you to think about they say Jesus was died on the cross well he's an immortal being so how can you die if you're an immortal being just your body how can you come back if you never left and that's true too if you read things the way I'm telling you with the language and the actual codes, you're going to know a lot of lies that you have been led to believe to keep you under slavement, servitude. And if you're ignoring what reality and logic is um, for your own benefit, you know, Anyway, so I don't know who's going to hear this, but um, first off, I got two things to say to you. You did not make yourself, and Satan didn't make you either, and, there, and there'll be debates. There was no, no name Satan. Well, you know, it's like I might have used to call you Joe, but today your name is Dick. You know, things change. And there's a dark force, and you cannot deny it. And I, for one, will never patronize that. I um, know that all glory goes to my Father in heaven. That spirit that holds every particle of everything you see and everything you don't see is from him and nobody else and that's who I serve and that's why I'm speaking out for everybody because these separations with all this dark and light and religion and politics and all the rest everybody's bullshit skin color whatever now if you want to go into the genders you'll be coming on to a touchy subject because when you've had your own children and yourself annihilated by people, you have a different outlook on things. And if you don't, well, enjoy your life in the flesh. Because you are that ignorant. You really are. It doesn't take any love. I mean, I would never, ever, I'll still talk to you the way I talk. And I know that I have friends that um, desire the other gender that still know that my words are not going to kill them or hurt them. Um, my hugs won't be any less affectionate, you know, for you or anybody else in life. We need to get in real on this planet, people, for real, and stop the bullshit and stop doing that bullshit to everybody. And don't try and paint me in your little up boxes because I don't approve of your life style or I believe that the commandments are a good thing you know to follow regardless so that's that's my thoughts today um, I appreciate you joining me I hope you have a beautiful week ahead I think we will I can feel the air opening up with a little more truth for people. And that's what we need to do is share more 
without the ego and the arrogance and the fucking clown show bullshit. Just stop it, please. It's, it's, it's too much. I want to knock your heads together, but there's too many of you. You know? So, all right. Peace and love from Pine City, Minnesota, USA. Have a good night or day, wherever you're at.